Hello everyone, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I'd like to talk to you today about this upcoming City of Fort Worth project. My name is Derek White and I am one of the project managers in the Transportation and Public Works Capital Delivery Division. And we'll be the construction project manager for the upcoming McCart Avenue at Alta Mesa Boulevard intersection improvement project. This presentation was originally meant to be an in-person community meeting. However, due to the city's proactive response to the current COVID-19 outbreak, the actual meeting is a recording. I will provide you with the scope of this project near your neighborhood. The design engineer firm is Multitech Engineers. Here is the agenda of what I hope to cover in my brief presentation. I will be talking about the project as a whole, providing the background on existing conditions and why we chose this intersection, reviewing the scope of work, some of the design considerations, and the schedule for, for the construction. I will also be answering a few frequently asked questions on similar types of projects. This slide shows the location of the project. This is at the intersection of two major arterials, Alta Mesa Boulevard and McCart Avenue. Coming to the background of the project, the intersection is currently a signalized intersection. McCart Avenue is a six lane divided arterial with dedicated left turn lanes. Alta Mesa Boulevard is a six lane divided arterial with a single offset dedicated left turn lanes due to a large median. This is a highly developed area with three high schools within a mile radius. There are currently no crosswalks for Alta Mesa Boulevard or accessible ramps in the large median. This creates an unsafe condition for pedestrians. This intersection currently experiences unsafe peak hour congestions and delays. The project goals are to improve safety and operations for both pedestrians and vehicles. As we can see in the site, the existing conditions. There is a large median in Alta Mesa Boulevard with no crosswalks. You can also see the negative offset left turn lanes on Alta Mesa Boulevard. So, to make the intersection safer and to improve the operations during peak hours, several improvements are proposed. The improvements include installing new accessible ramps, crosswalks, and pedestrian signals in all directions, converting the outside eastbound lane of Alta Mesa Boulevard to a dedicated right turn lane, relocating the left turn lanes on Alta Mesa Boulevard to create a positive offset, modifying northbound McCart Avenue left turn into a dual left turn lane, and replacing all traffic signals. The project is funded using the 2018 bond program and the Highway Safety Improvement Program using federal funds. The approximate cost of construction would be $740,000. As we can see in this picture, the left turn lanes for Alta Mesa have been redirected across the median to create a positive offset. This would improve traffic operations. As shown in the picture is the dedicated right turn lane for eastbound Alta Mesa Boulevard and the dual left turn lane created for northbound McCart Avenue. Finally, you can see that accessible ramps and crosswalks have been added in all directions for improved pedestrian safety. This slide explains the difference between negative and positive offset left turn lane geometry. When you have a negative offset on the left turn lanes, the driver's sight distance of oncoming traffic is obstructive, creating a dangerous situation. With a positive offset, you can easily see oncoming traffic and look for a safer opportunity to cross. Due to the size of the median on Alta Mesa, a long distance of travel and obstructed sight distance for left turns requires separate signal phases, creating a much larger total intersection cycle length and increasing queuing lengths. With the positive offset, the left turn movement 
can be concurrently during the same signal phase. Thus, replacing overall intersection cycle length and improving traffic operations. To summarize, this project will address the following goals. Increase pedestrian safety by adding accessible ramps and crosswalks. Improve pedestrian safety by adding accessible ramps and crosswalks. Increase intersection efficiency and reduce crashes with positive offset left turn lanes. Reduce queue lengths and increase intersection efficiency by providing dual left turn lanes. Reduce queue lengths and increase efficiency with a dedicated right turn lane. Overall, the intersection will operate more efficiently and allow adequate time for safer pedestrian crossings. For the project schedule, we are currently in the preliminary design phase. That means we have completed 60% of the design of this project. We are anticipating the start of construction by summer 2021, depending on utility relocations, right-of-way acquisitions, and approval by the Texas Department of Transportation. The duration of construction is approximately 10 months or less. I would like to finish this presentation by presenting some frequently asked questions regarding this project and provide answers. Question, will there be any roadway closures during construction? If so, what will the detour look like? The final construction staging and traffic control have not been finalized. The construction will be implemented in phases to provide continuous access through the intersection. Question, why were the left turn lanes changed on Alta Mesa Boulevard? A geometry with positive offset left turn lanes reduces crashes by providing adequate sight distance to see oncoming through traffic vehicles while shortening the distance when driving through the intersection. Also, it allows simultaneous left turn movements during traffic signal phases while increasing intersection efficiency and reduce queue lengths. Question. Why were dual left turn lanes added to northbound McCart Avenue? Traffic counts for northbound left turns are three to four times the amount of southbound left turn. This will allow additional vehicles through the intersection and reduces queue lengths. Question, why was outside lane converted to a dedicated right turn lane on eastbound Alta Mesa Boulevard? Traffic counts for eastbound right turns are two to three times the amount of westbound right turns. Providing dedicated right turns improve traffic operations and are safer for pedestrians. This concludes my presentation. Thank you very much for taking the time to listen and watch. Unfortunately, I was not able to meet all of you in person due to public health concerns and discuss any comments or questions that you may have, but I would still like to hear from you. My phone number and email address are provided here. Please feel free to contact me if you so choose. Thank you once again.